And we are live, we are kicking. Berlin, make some noise! PGI 2018. All of these 20 teams are a championship calibre. Some of the best PUBG players in the world fighted out to be crowned global champions. This is a dream come true for me. Let's get on to the battlegrounds. It is two teams. Yaron goes for the kill. Hitting into Texas, but he was outside in the blue. Knights, a huge round for the Pittsburgh Knights. Finally, the Knights find some success and on the back of a huge kill count, 16 total kills. Really nice game from the Knights, and that has got to feel good. Trust comes down to the south, and this will happen Whoa. in eight seconds' time. They actually nade. That second nade is right on target, too. Kramer. They're pushing. Here comes the extra ones. Toss everything you got. Knight is working up, and OMG, they take the hill. Oh. They take the seed. They want Plastic it. will be dropped. Dre will be the final one from Knight. You know where he is. It's the smoke box once again. They want to wipe out Knight, so OMG could be the ones to push in. Only one spot for him to go, and that's to the center. This is the last play zone. Anyone got a grenade? OMG is going to see big. him looking down into the thicket. And OMG claim first position. He stays alive, but the push comes in from OMG. Santi on the switch up DP. He goes down. It's OMG to claim the victory. He's putting it down, but silent. He smells blood in the water, and this surely is going to be the closing moment. It is OMG. Phenomenal play today. 70 kills, 3,425 points from China, OMG! What it means most in PUBG is when we as a team can't overcome obstacles like a mistake happening over and over and, or we can't agree on a solution that would probably have been better than the other solution. I've never been this time, I've never, I never hated this game as much, I never wanted to play less than I do now. There was a lot of individual mistakes, um, team-wise mistakes. We, like, we, uh, I don't know, we played really bad. My individual performance was the worst. Could have played so much better. Really disappointed. Um, you know, that last game, it was a free win. Just, I, I screamed through the mic, you know, don't push, don't push, it's not worth, don't push. And 10 seconds later, you know, it just all fell apart. So, I don't know. If we make mistakes like this, we're not going to win. Yeah, at the end of the day, it's a team game. and. If one of your mates too bad, you're gonna be like affected by it, like, either in a mental way or in a, like a play, like a play that you play together and dies and you can do nothing about it. You can you lose the fight. This is our the worst land we ever played. We have never made so many mistakes that we did in, uh, since we formed a new team. So this was a big disappointment for us, uh, but I hope it's gonna be the last time and it took a loss at a world championship to help them realize and understand that they f***ed up. I hate when that happens. The reason Knights ended up at eight this time is, it's not, it's not nothing to do with preparation, it's nothing to do with skill. I feel like it's the, the positioning and the decision making they were, they're not playing they used to do. Maybe it has something to do with 20 teams versus 16. I kind of hope this was the tournament that they were going to go top uh, three. Uh, otherwise, um, anything top, it's not bad. Top eight is not bad. They were close. If you think about points, they were very close to top three. It was the matter of having one, one good game compared to one average game. Performance in Berlin definitely affected our mindset going into GLL just because we did so terribly and there's a lot of individual mistakes that we didn't expect. I, what I'm asking is come in first place and win by a thousand points. Aim for that.
We're not aiming for just for a I have to stick more with the team, not to get greedy. Just I, me and Kram have to stick together like 90% of the time, we cannot split. <laughs> yeah, we are going to be really hungry for the win. I feel like in the next half year we're going to see a land win from the Knights. Compared to how they've played so far, they're going to be taking a land win anytime soon. After GLL we have Star Ladder, which I'm really excited to go to. A lot of games there, so it will really show it deserves the win for sure. Do you have a message for your rivals? Be watch out, we've been practicing all this way and we're definitely gonna give it our all this week. <laughs>